Good morning and welcome back to another video and today is another day of the Zero to Gold Cap Challenge. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay guys, so today we are pretty much just... I haven't really done all that much and that is mainly because I've been a little bit busy with a load of stuff. So I have been running around doing like farm, doing some random-esque farms so to speak. So. I managed to get a little bit of transmog this week, but not overly too much. Mainly because I've been literally looking up, like, like check this out. This is probably the best way of actually describing this. And I've got over 751 sold auctions on the auction house. Hence why I haven't really been doing much farming, because I've just been overviewing and seeing what has actually is transpiring throughout this entire week. So that being the case, what we've actually got here in my bags at the moment from my farming is not a great deal. It's like around about like 30 Ks worth of transmog in my bag. The place where I actually got this transmog is by doing the lower black rock spire and lower black rock spire wasn't actually that great of a transmog farm. It used to be but unfortunately it hasn't yielded any of the cool stuff that I wanted. I, I even went in and tried getting hold of the plans for the Arcanite Reaper and that was from Bannock Grimax. So if you do slash tar Bannock Grimax and every time you go into that dungeon you can pretty much uh, see, press the macro, see if he's there, if not then go out, reset the instance, come back in. If so, then go back in and jump down and kill him. Um, other than that, I mainly do the first lot of mobs as well, and that usually adds up to a nice amount of time in order to do my run. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm really more focused on how much gold we've actually made. That being the case, let's get into the gold for the week. Okay, so the first actual gold pull for the out of the 751 males that have actually sold is 6,352, 6,352 gold. So not overly too amazing at this moment in time. At the end of the day, this is the first one out of all of them. So let's see if there is any things of note. Now, we have sold a lot of the gems that we did last week, and the thing of note is the roseate pigments, which we, I managed to sell for 2,759 gold, so not too bad right there. And the rest of it is literally all those gems that I like shuffled last week. So let's take all this in, and we'll see how much more we can actually get. I saw a high ticket sale, so I know we've, I've got a flat 150k in my bags because I know a piece of transmog sold that was a high end piece has sold. But um, other than that, we've still got like 701 more mailbox auctions to open. So hopefully we can get a decent amount of gold for this week. So I'm really, really looking forward to this. And the next one is 35,000, 35,715 gold. And the things that are of note are the viridescent inks from the shuffle last week, along with three other stacks of that for 7,316 gold. Pretty damn good because that's around about 28K just by selling the viridescent inks. and actually one of them is the crimson ink as well for 7,964 gold so pretty damn good for the actual week we actually made back a decent amount of gold and we managed to sell some Vantis runes of crucible storms and a load of gems so not going to lose sleep with that one because that that haul out of that one is actually pretty damn good and obviously I can't complain with all of that jazz so yeah, the shuffles from last week are paying off and I'm quite happy to see that. So, pretty damn good and let's refresh the mailbox and see how much more gold we've actually managed to get. So, hopefully, hopefully it's going to be okay. So, the next one is 7,000. 
109 gold. And the things that are of note are gems, 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 gems. Uh, the Merciless Leg Guards of F the Fire Flash. And these ones can be found from Vanilla Dungeons, uh, more specifically uh, Black Rock. Uh, the Molten Core or the basically any of the end game type of dungeons you can get hold of the Merciless Leg Guards of the Fire Flash so that's pretty damn good I'm quite happy with that I'm not actually going to complain whatsoever so let's take all that in and We'll see how much more gold we can actually make from all of this. The mailbox is going to refresh, I can definitely tell. And it's going to add a load of gold onto that. But, yeah, it'll be okay. I'm not going to worry. Um, so, let's now refresh and see how much gold we've actually got for this one. So, let's have a look, shall we? The next mailbox clean-out is... 590 gold. That's bad, man. That's bad. Um, that is because of a load of the low tier gems actually sold. And that was about it. So I'm just going to take that. And there's nothing of note because it's not over a thousand gold. So there's no point of actually looking for it if it's not even hitting that target. But at the end of the day, we're doing quite well for our auctions this week. And I'm really, really chuffed with how much is actually selling because we've got loads of low tier transmog being sold and all that jazz so let's hope we can actually make a decent amount of gold going forward so that being the case let's open up the next mailbox and the next clean out is 9776 gold so that would be the so the things that are of note are the Vantis runes, which we sold a load of, of the Crucible of Storms and the Battle of the Zara Laws. And that's basically it. Just a few low tier transmogs as well, but at the end of the day, we've managed to get the bulk of the majority out of this little mailbox clean out. Is just Vantis runes, Vantis runes, Vantis runes. So we're seeing that it's all adding up in the long run, and I'm quite happy because the investments are paying off and we've still got over 500 more auctions to open up. So we'll delete that because I don't know why that is staying there even though it's got gold. Um, my hay fever is really playing up at this moment in time so uh, forgive me if I'm like rubbing my eye a lot in this video. It's just hay fever, really really pain in the arse. The next clean out is 6,868 gold and that is the Vantis runes again along with the Tomes of the Quiet Mind and the Inks of the Sea and they aren't all that much but they do add up in the long run because the Tome of the Quiet Mind is like 129 gold, the Vantis runes are 309 and the... and the... Let's have a look, shall we? The Ink of the Sea was at 127 gold for the all of for like one stack of five for those. So doing pretty well. Let's refresh and carry on. Obviously, it's at the moment I'm looking at I'm looking at the, the actual full total. It isn't all that much, but we've still got loads more than we usually have. And the next clean out is a hundred and eighty one thousand three hundred and ninety gold now the things that are of note are a stack of 200 crimson ink for eight thousand two hundred and eighty five gold and if we go down it is one hundred and seventy thousand five hundred gold for the black bulwark now i got this when i was in do you know when i was doing the da daily rares in draenor I was killing loads of things over near there and I then went over and killed all of the world bosses and this item actually dropped when I was just killing random mobs waiting for the dude to respawn. That dropped. I was so chuffed when I saw that drop. But it only said like 150k but 
I managed to sell it for 170,500 gold. So that high piece of transmog has really paid off for the week and I'm really, really chuffed to see that. So let's pull that in. It's gonna make my numbers go up dramatically. So um, that being the case, um, I've actually been starting to work on some insane uh, get back into the transmog because I've noticed that we're having a, a resurgence of people buying transmog at this moment in time. I don't know why, I can't explain it, but I'm going to double down on it until 8.2 when the herbs will go up and all that jazz. So until then, I'm most likely going to focus more on transmog and I'm going to stick to my daily thing uh, a bit more. As well as doing the crafted stuff, we should focus more on the old transmog as well because we make a decent amount of gold with the crafting at this moment and the shuffles so why not double down on the transmog which I enjoy farming as well so the next clean out is 9,217 gold and the and the things that are of note are nothing it's just literally the the lari boil uh, gems and they're 250 gold and so that's really just added up to a nice amount of gold of about 9,217 gold so let's just take all that in and we'll see what we've got in the next load so at the moment it's looking really really good because thanks to that one piece of transmog for the week um, yeah pretty damn happy with all of that like I cannot complain so to speak but um, we're, we're going to go quite heavy on a lot of stuff uh, in the following weeks, trying to bulk out our auction house like into mega amounts. Instead of hitting the thousand transmog pieces on the auction house, I'm going to aim for around about 3,000. So just a heads up right there. So the next clean out is 12,522 gold. And the things that are of note are just the gems once again, see? It's all the Lari Boil gems for 250 gold. So we're pulling in quite a decent amount of gold at this moment in time. We've still got 304 auctions left in order to do this. So hopefully this actually adds up to a decent amount of gold in the long run. Um, and we're just waiting, waiting. I really wish we could just press reset and it just does it without reloading the UI. That would be absolutely amazing. So the next clean out is 10,220 gold. Pretty damn happy with that. And it is literally more gems and more gems. We've managed to sell so many gems this week just from doing that shuffle. And we've definitely made our gold back just by looking at how much gold we've actually made for this week. So I'm pretty damn happy with it. It's like skyrocketing somewhat. And I'm really, really chuffed. I'm probably going to do another shuffle for the gems because I'm running low now. But um, other than that, it should add up to a decent amount of gold. So the next clean out is... Ta -da -da -da. 9,359 gold. 9,359 gold. And the things that are of note are the Battle Chasers Greaves, which are a transport piece which you can, which is, actually I don't remember where that comes from. We've done so many transport farms, I forget where everything comes from. But um, we sold a lot of gems as well, once again, the Scarlet Diamonds for 238 gold piece, so pretty damn happy. Still, two, over 200 auctions left to open, so yeah, look, judging by how much gold we're actually pulling in this week, it's going to look like an insane pull for gold so yeah pretty damn good I'm not going to complain right there so that being the case let's get into the next load of things for in order to do and the next clean out is 11,000 11,824 gold and all it is is the scarlet diamonds for 238 gold a piece. So let's just pull all that in right there. We're selling a lot of singles of stuff for this week, mainly because 
The Scarlet Gems, if I've sold them singly, I find that they sell faster. Well, just the gem, the high tier gems in general. If I sell them singly, they actually sell faster. So that's why I post the blue gems that you get from your prospecting. And that's why I sell them on the auction house singly because more people are more inclined to just buy what they need and then run off. And then, yeah, I don't really need to worry all that much because we've definitely make, made our gold back for, the, for those shuffles. So that being the case, still have 154 auctions left to do. And the next load of stuff is the quick owl's eyes, which are the gem cuts and the scarlet diamonds once again for 9,414 gold. And it's adding up quite well. And just one little piece of minor transmog at which for 12 gold I'm sure that's the one that's the one that actually adds up to the mass amounts of stuff at the end of the day but at the end of the day it's doing really really well and I can't complain to be fair of how much gold we've actually made from all of this stuff so probably going to just double down on that and keep going keep going keep going if you know what I'm saying so let's go forward and carry on for the next three clean outs. We've got three more left to go because we've got 104 auctions. So the next clean out is 14,938 gold. The things that are of note are the quick, quick owl's eyes and a load of the Kraken's eye as well. Basically just gems once again, along with some viridescent ink for 7,999 gold. And that's pretty much it. It's mainly just gems once again. So it's adding up, but it's just selling a lot of gems. That's probably why we've got so many auctions sold. But um, yeah, like I said before, the rare gems, the blue ones, I always sell them singly because I find that they tend to sell faster in those stacks. So, or oh, it's not really a stack, it's just singles. But at the end of the day, let's refresh the auction house and let's see how much we're going to actually carry on. So the next clean out is 7,642 gold. And this, and the things that are of note are just gems once again, plus a few bits of uh, Vantis runes and low tier transmog. So. Yeah, nothing of real actual note. It just all has added up to a decent amount of gold at the on the uh, on the next clean up. So we've we've got four more auctions to open up, but um, I'm sure those ones will be the pinnacle of the uh, of the clean out. If you know what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, let's see how, how much gold we've actually got on the last clean out, and then we can go over the totals. The next clean out is. 436 gold and that was for the four auctions and it's just literally just gems deadly amber blaze quick owl's eye deadly amber blaze and kraken's eye of agility so okay so all in total we have managed to gain around about 333,372 gold for the entire week and what we're left with is 1.6 million or 1,664,189 gold. That has turned out to be a great week in order for gold making, so I cannot complain one bit. And at the end of the day, we're going to have to double down on some more high tier transmogs. And that's most likely going to be things like Zulfarak and Ankaraj, well, the ruins of Ankaraj, I never do really do the temple. Um, and then doing like things like the Sunwell, and that's pretty much most of the decent ones that you can actually do. So we're probably going to do a, an array of high tier transmog farms. I might do my, super, my secret one that I really do like doing because it provides me with some really high tier transmog. So be prepared for that for next week. Other than that, guys, what did you think on the video? Have a lovely rest of the day, and I shall see you in the next video, which will be on Monday. Take it easy, guys.